at the end of the day, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is literally an invasion of the global supply chain. We're seeing that the impact is no less than 300,000 companies in the US and Europe alone with that are connected to the Russian Ukraine supply chains. OK, um, that is a stark figure with the 300,000, what have you. But, I mean, how quickly can we have a form of uh, autarky, a form of substitution, uh, a form of movement on the supply chain for companies that can move rather quickly? I, I think it's hard, and I think this is going to be somewhere between a 6 to 12 months, simply because most companies have never asked who is below uh, their extended supply chain. So most companies know exactly who they're buying from. They don't know who those companies are reliant on. And that's really where the problem is. The second problem is that so many industries are connected to each other. So we are seeing the ramifications and the ripple effect across agriculture, oil and gas, rare earth minerals, automotive, as you just mentioned, and many other industries. You see wheat that is li literally disappearing off of shelves, and the cost is going up 50-some percent in other areas of the world where it is available, simply because of how much the pull is globally in different parts of the world. And from a raw materials and from a mineral standpoint, 15 to 20 percent of the world's titanium comes from Russia alone, and the rest of the world does not know where to get those, those raw materials from. Jennifer, when it comes to business planning, we often talk about timelines, but in this scenario, we don't really know where the end point is, just what sort of destruction Ukraine has suffered on the ground and what that means for resumption of supplies, but also Russia in terms of the length of any sanctions. Can you comment on that and how difficult it is then for business planning from a short-term perspective, but also whether this stretches on for much longer than even 2022? I, I think it's a great question, and it's it's a very serious question for businesses. We have seen over the last two years that whether it's cyber breaches or a ship going sideways in a canal or the crisis that's happening right now in Ukraine, businesses cannot continue to operate this way. And honestly, if I were to have a crystal ball, I would tell you it's another six to 12 months for smoothing out to happen in the supply chain. But I think that all of us, should get used to and expect longer lead times in business. And therefore we do need to find alternative sources of supply or just getting used to going to store shelves and not being able to buy the commodities that we're used to. And the last piece is that folks are really feeling this in the wallet. And I know in the States, we're seeing it at the pump. We're paying higher gas prices or else we're going without. And that's just the way the world's going to be for a long time. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.